Well, hi everyone. Welcome to What's He Been Telling You Lately. It looks like we've been off for a little while, but we're glad to be back. As you can see, we're not in the studio, so we're using this place today. Uh, so we're getting ready now to start finalizing the next uh, couple or a few broadcasts to finalize Surrender. So we're here to come and bring this to a close. We're excited. We've been taking time behind the scenes, uh, uh, putting things together, getting our final thoughts together. And uh, Mike's already putting the outline for the book that we're going to start writing on surrender. So we've been doing quite a bit behind the scenes. So that's why uh, we haven't really been, uh, you know, broadcasting that much. But there are just times that we need to stop and begin to just uh, get it while it's hot when God is speaking to us. Because that's exactly why we call this what's he been telling you lately. So we're always trying to t take a listen and we want to make sure that we finish. And of course, there'll be a lot more in the book, but we, we're just what we've been presenting to you is a lot. So you can imagine what the book uh, is going to look like. Uh, and he already had like outline for ten chapters. <laughs> wow! So, so far, yeah, so far. So uh, I think it may go more than that, honestly. But in any case, we're going to be going through the four keys that will get us to the place of guys revealing the knowledge. The, the nature of God, we've been talking about that DNA, the divine nature appointed. And so we're going to be going through this cycle. And, and let me show you the cycle. Here's the cycle, as you can see. And it starts with uh, uh, truth, then belief, and then faith, and then hope. That's right. And we were tinkering with, uh, I'm kind of a simple thinker. And so I just called it the Alpha One Cycle. And Alpha meaning there's the beginning. As we really prayed and listened over these four elements, we realized that a lot of things cycle. And even our growth and our growth of surrender can take this form, starting with the truth presented, belief as a choice, faith in action form, brings about that hope revealed, which in turn goes right back into that hope being revealed is the truth presented. So the alpha concept, the alpha of the word alpha behind this is really about beginnings. There's always a beginning. It just continues to go around and around. The one is about you, the individual. We want this to be something that's so simple and easy to share with others, but for you to apply to your life Amen. in that search for what surrender and hearing God's voice. And then cycle because it is a cycle. And so that you never get to a plateau. There we should go. never say we're, we've reached it. We yeah. yes, we've you know, we've attained. Ah, whatever <laughs> it is, it should always be constantly going, and that's part of the hope as well. Yeah. That you know, there are tough seasons, and you have to realize that season's going to come. It's going to go. You're going to cycle in, cycle out. So there's a so much to unpack here with all of this information. So we're very excited to be here and start throwing this inner cycle with the grand surrender cycle. So this is a uh, great stuff. And, and so you'll see how this fits on the chart. So you can see on the chart, the four keys, of course, you know, starting with uh, truth, belief, faith, and then going to hope. And then we'll be jumping across into uh, the three other uh, cycles with DNA, then the nature of God, which, uh, which comes down to the bottom line, Jesus is Lord based off on Luke 2.52. And we call that the surrender equation. Right. For those surrender. mathematicians out there that love math, <laughs> yeah. this will help you out. Yeah, so we're gonna be getting in, uh, eventually getting to that point to just to understand, you know, of being about sober-minded. We've been talking about being sober-minded. Huge. You know, the eyes being the window of our spirit, our heart, our soul, you know, all mm -hmm. those things are gonna come right into that area once we get to that place. Uh, to get to the transformation part. It's not a matter of just saying I'm born again. It's actually understanding the whole process, mm -hmm. the whole system, the way God designed it for us mm -hmm. to come in the full uh, knowledge and revelation of what God is saying. So that's uh, so that's what we want to try to accomplish here in finishing up surrender. And of course, surrender, surrendering the right things, you know, in order to keep us uh, under the presence of God at all mm -hmm. times in hearing distance <laughs> and uh, just to be sure that we are going in the right direction. So we'll be talking a little bit about that and then the, the voice, what I call the frequency, and we'll talk about that a little bit and I'm excited about that. It's something I'll be teaching on Word of Power, but I want to share a little bit on that 
when we get to that place because it's really important on listening to God it's great and, stuff. Uh, and how it's going to how we are able to tap into it at all times you know 24 7 so uh, it's going to be really exciting so we'll start with uh, now you know this cycle we're going to start with uh, uh, truth and then belief and then faith and then hope but understand that it's not always that same order because there are some things that Mike and I were just talking about you know we can have a strong faith about some things but then there are some things that we got to work our faith into get into that place to receiving that promise that God has given us you know and so it's you know of course going through that constant battle of, of renewing our mind so that's what this whole thing is about renewing the mind you know the the windows of of what we're seeing, what we're perceiving, what we're receiving, <laughs> and what we're going to conceive. <laughs> we just want to put it in a package that is easy to understand and yeah. you can see the pieces, but as in any cycle, there's different elements. It just is constantly going. So you're right. Yeah. And uh, so that's why as you were going through this constant cycle, then you'll know what areas you need to really work on. Mm -hmm. You know, So that's the, the thing, because like I said, maybe you need a little more hope than what you have. And so yeah. truth is going to reveal that that promise and then that's when you come into that belief system yeah amen so uh, you know so we're gonna start we got a lot of verses uh, so we'll go through some of the verses for each cycle and so we're gonna start with uh, truth right now and we'll be uh, just sharing some of the verses now you may say well that's just uh, you know verses well understand this is the key that allows you to hear the Word of God you know faith comes by hearing hearing the word and so that's that is the first process of number one seeing so you can perceive what it's saying and then hearing what it's saying and then let your eyes be the windows to fulfill or fill infill our spirit to allow us to move forward so uh we'll, How we throw out a quick definition for you guys oh good yeah to summarize the alpha cycle you can be called the process by which the gospel reveals itself mm and becomes relevant. That's good, yeah, exactly. Again, for those fans who have been here for a long time, <laughs> again, just one of my favorite series we've done yeah. is, <clears throat> we know what that is, Revelation. Oh, yes. Is relevant. Yeah, is relevant. Mm -hmm. Talking about uh, God revealing he was himself testing. is relevance. Almost right. And so, <laughs> and I think really that's what it is. Yeah. This is the process by which, in, in, uh, in different stages, but this is a process by where God, His truth, really reveals itself mm -hmm. and becomes relevant. And uh, I love that. It starts with truth, but again, it comes in different forms, in different sections, in different people's lives, at different times, in different yeah. seasons. Um, and I love the fact that this revelation of God's truth really brings about and often a new truth in someone's life who's never heard about God. And then the cycle continues in the lives of others. It just is designed to be multiplicated. Yeah. It's designed to be multiplied over and over. It's called discipleship. Amen. And that's what Christ modeled and that's what we need to continue to do ourselves. We're just kind of packaging it in a, a unique way that God's been sharing with us. Yeah. So. Truth presented. Let's start off with it. Let's talk about yielding, hearing, seeing. Oh, um, I don't even know where to start. But let's. <laughs> we're going to rapid fire a lot of these verses and just start talking about them. And yeah. feel free to jot down while you're hearing. Maybe you're hearing God share some other verses to you yeah. during this time. That'd be great. And we'll have all these verses in the book, you know, because mm -hmm. we have a, a lot, you know, a plethora, a plethora of yes. verses. But mm -hmm. uh, there's, they're all, you know, just really relevant to what we're. Uh, going through and what we need you know first of all Psalms 25 5 says guide me in your truth and teach me for you are God my Savior and my hope is in you all day long amen mm. so you know here we, we see that truth is it's not just learning about the truth but remember the word is alive it's yeah. God breath it breathed mm -hmm. so truth is going to be speaking to you yeah. It's going to be teaching you. That's what it really is. And it will teach you, open you up to receive the understanding and the wisdom. So, you know, and when we, then that's where we are able to really uh, see the hope that we're looking for. That's right. So, praise God for that one. Uh, yeah, so you got one that you like to? Yeah, I'm looking at uh, Psalm 51.6 jumps out here, mm -hmm. what we've done. 
It says, behold, you desire truth in the inner being. Mm -hmm. And what I love about that is, <clears throat> let me finish up, let me finish the statement. And you teach me wisdom in the secret heart. Mm -hmm. Do you know that God desires it? The ESV also says, um, you delight in truth in the inner being. That that's God's heartbeat. God's heartbeat. If some people say, well, you know, there's so many people. There's all these billions of people. Does God really love everyone? Do you know that the intent from your creation is that God wants you to understand the truth? Every single person. Mm -hmm. So for those out there that think God's a great cosmic killjoy and just doesn't mm -hmm. love you, <laughs> here's a verse that says He not only loves you, He wants you. You were designed to know the truth. Amen. It's wired, it's hardwired in you. Uh, we touched on that a little bit about our DNA yeah. and our designed by the Creator, but it's a desire of His heart. And uh, so let's not just say, oh, that's truth, and let's just throw it out as a, as a topical word. Let's realize that this is the heartbeat of God, the one who made you. He wants you to understand that. Yeah, amen. And, and there's huge value to that. I love that. And I love what he was just talking about, because the rest of it says, create in me a clean heart. Hmm. So God, it's all about preparation, prepping you up, prepping your heart prep in your mind, everything to set you up for your victory for your tomorrow, you know? Uh -huh. So that's that's one thing, and, and of course, and it's preserving us and, uh, and a steadfast spirit within me. Oh boy, do we need that, you know, with everything that seems uh, uh, that's uncertain of what tomorrow holds, yeah. we need to be steadfast, you know, we need to be calm, and that's what the Word brings us, yeah. and it renews your heart to have, give you that strength that you need to, mm. to do that. So, <clears throat> what you got, right? You know, in the psalm, the psalmists are always, David and others, when they communicate this idea of truth, we already know that it's God's desire. It's in his emotionally heartbeat mm. that you get to know this truth and the truth being himself. Um, psalmists are out there in in poetry in song and they're communicating on a real emotional heart connecting level in presenting this truth it's not just your doctor or your more professional trying to design and understand the definition of truth mm -hmm. but they're saying it, it's sometimes it's so incomprehensible that it comes from inside and therefore sometimes it's communicated without someone even talking to you yeah um, and again in <clears throat> Psalm 86 11 it says teach me your way O Lord that I may walk and live in your truth. Now we have a response from somebody mm -hmm. to God's desire, that emotional heart being saying, I want you to understand the truth. And here's the psalmist saying, I want to understand the truth. Mm -hmm. And that's that exchange that I think what we, that ultimately is leads to surrender. And without that kind of connection, a loving God wants to share this with you on such an intimate level and as in the example here the psalmist saying i am ready for that kind of connection Amen. that's where surrender i think is birthed often <clears throat> and easy to say but again there are so many things that keep us from hearing the truth or what's he been telling you oh he's been sharing you i love you you know let's talk about some truth here so I, I love the psalmist. Uh, there's plenty of other verses in Psalms as well oh, yeah. that communicate it on that level. So that's really, that brings a richness to understanding what the truth is. Yeah, I love that because it says also direct and unite my heart, just like mm. you said, you know, coming together, you know, and I love that. So uh, uh, it's just beautiful. Um, let's see, Proverbs 23, 23, by the truth. No, I'm sorry, that's not the one. I want Isaiah 45, 19. Yeah. I have not spoken in secret. Hmm. in a corner of the land of darkness. I did not call the descendants of Jacob to a fullness of fruitless uh, service, saying, seek me for nothing, but I promise them a just reward. I love this because, number one, God doesn't want to hold back any secrets. Hmm. He wants to reveal everything about who he is. He wants to reveal everything, <laughs> uh, his whole system, his whole process. We've yeah. been talking about that, you know, the the kingdom process, the kingdom system. God's got a system. A system. Full disclosure. Yeah, full disclosure, exactly. And that's the that's the way he, that's the guy we serve. That's right. 
you know, and he wants to leave no stone unturned, you know, and he wants you to know what's, what, uh, what lurks around because he's the light, you know.